Hello, in this video we are going to quickly go through this example from our warm-up today and we're going to write a program that takes a string input, we'll call it word, and outputs the new word where all the e's are removed. So if the input is cat, the output is cat, and if the input is eagle, the output is agl. Now, there's a really important approach to do this using loops, um, and we're not going to use that approach here, and it actually, using loops is a little overkill for this, but it highlights a really cool idea called string construction. Um, which actually becomes really important later on. To do this, we're going to use a method called replace. And it's actually a pretty useful method for questions like this. So let's start off by taking our input. We're going to say word is equal to input. And we're going to take my input and I'm going to pass it the string input word. So again, this is called an assignment statement where we're going to evaluate the right hand side first. And that is running the input function that takes a single parameter of type string. And then the user will type in an input, press enter, and it will be stored in word as a string. Remember, the type is important in terms of how the computer stores that information. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say word equals word dot dot replace and replace is an instance function. Um, I know it's an instance function because it, can, it needs to be invoked using some instance and that is the string word. So that is who I'm going to replace. And I'm going to pass it two parameters. The first one is what I want to look for. So I want to look for all of the E's. And the second thing is what I want to replace it with. And I'm going to replace it with an empty string. And this is a really nice technique because what it does is it collapses the string. So if, for example, if your word was eagle um, and you ran this, the E would be replaced with an empty string. So it would disappear. So you get A and you get A, G, L, and that's it. And so this is a really nice way to quickly... Um, compress a string or collapse a string and remove those letters. So if we print now word and we run this, if I put in cat, I get cat. Let's clear this up. And if I run this and I put in eagle, I get the AGL. Now, a couple little, just the little things that are important. Um, the first thing is that we really want to be aware that when we run this function replace using the instance word, is that we're overwriting the original word. For our purposes, it doesn't matter at all because I don't care what the actual original word was. But let's say, for example, I wanted to print something like something like when all the letter E's, E's are replaced in a word, we get word. And this is going to cause a problem now. Because, I think it would be E-E-S, that's what I hesitated on, but regardless. If I run this now, and I put in cat, and I say, if all the letter E's are replaced in cat, we get cat. That's fine. But, if we clear this up, and we run this, and we put eagle, when all the letters E's are replaced in A-G-L, we get A-G-L. And the reason why this happens is because here on line 12, we're overwriting the original word that's been inputted. And again... It's not, that, it's not that this is a bad thing, but you just have to be aware of it. So in this case, because I need the original word, I don't want to overwrite it. So I'm going to call this result. And now what I can do is I can do result like this. And so now if I run it and I put in eagle, I get when all the letter E's are replaced in eagle, we get AGL. And what I'm doing now is by setting it up this way, I'm not overwriting that original word that was inputted. I hope this video helped, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.